Right, uh, testing, sorry, sorry, I didn't have the mic on, right, testing audio, testing movement. Uh, can you hear me? Just uh, testing the audio again one more time. Okay, hello everyone. This is Gundam Ace, aka John Hooper. Here with my streaming of Rebellion Secret Game Second Stage. Uh, this shall this will be the final um, stream of the game. Last time we finished off um, Zero and Rebel Episode Z. And um, now we are tackling the post-game content, which is a um, kind of a silly bonus thing called an extra stage. Uh, what exactly it will entail? Well, you'll have to see. Without further ado, let's begin. We heard the loud racket of birds from somewhere. Shuhei Fujita woke up to that sound. Huh? Where am I? Why I know this place? Isn't it the game field? Shuhei gasped when he realized then, just then, he heard her voice. Shu? Oh, thank God, you're finally awake! What? You're here too, Kotomi? Oh, I see you're up, Shuhei. Yuna? Hitomi? And everyone else too? Sang around where the players who had been thrown into that game once before. What's going on here? Fuck if I know. One minute I'm out cold, next minute I'm here. I'm the same as everyone else. Did the administrators grab us again? Perhaps, but this seems quite strange. But they did resort to the same tactics. At any rate, this is quite irritating. We have those... We have those cursed collars on our necks again. Are they trying to make us play the game again? I don't want to do that. After we all finally got along. Wait, hold on. This doesn't make sense. You said everyone, but we're missing two people. What? The moment Shuhei furrowed his brow, he suddenly heard a voice behind him. Well, looks like everyone's here. We were late in getting ready. Daisuke? Haruna? Do you guys know something? What's going on here? 
Hold on a sec. Uh, honestly, I don't really know either. They just ordered me to be the host. Host? Of what? It's obvious, ain't it? Alright then, now that we're all here, why don't we get the show on the road? Extra game! Start! Extra game! Start! Hi! Extra game! Extra game! Extra game! Setsuna ni ikiru otoko, Ito Daisuke to... Let's get this extra game started. I'm your host, Daisuke Ito, the man who lives in the moment. Sorry, one sec. I'm Hosotani Haruna, the, el the elusive phantom. Wait, seriously, what the hell's going on here? What's this extra game business? <laughs> How if I know, actually? まあ、なんだかんだ言って、本編で登場人物ごとに活躍度にちょい差があったからさ。リベンジの機会を神様がくれたってとこじゃね。Well, if I had to guess, it's because the characters in the main story, um, didn't exactly have equal, um, didn't have exactly equal, um, time in the limelight. Maybe God's giving us a chance for some com payback? Is that how it is? Don't sweat the details. I mean, heck. This is all just for fun, after all. Just sit back, just kick back and relax. Nothing we can do about it, I guess. Not like anything we'll say will change the situation. Well, let's just get this over with. Now then, there's something I need to warn you about before the game begins. This extra game is extremely different in atmosphere than the main story. So we ask only those of you who are okay with that, continue onward. We all good here? And let me get started on explaining the rules of the game. This extra game is... The Rebellion's Trivia Quiz! We'll be giving out quiz questions about Rebellions from here on out, and you all have to answer them. So that said, we do know that there are some who are good at this kind of thing and those who aren't, so we're going to make this a team battle. Three, well, um, teams of three people each who compete together. The question form is first come, first serve. Each team starts with 50 points, and for each incorrect question, the incorrect answer, they lose 10 points. Once someone gets the right answer, 
Their team will get 30 points, while all the other teams will lose 10 points. Should your team's points ever hit, um, go below zero, zero below, your callers will explode in a comedic fashion, and you will be disqualified. Incidentally, um, for each question, each team can, um, go once for each person. In other words, every team can has three chances to answer. So even if you go in the negative, if someone gets the right answer, you can go right back up into the positive. Now then, which team's gonna survive to the end? What sort of hard questions and brilliant answers will we get? I can't take my eyes off this! Those of you in front of the computer, think alongside the players, okay? Daisuke seems really, uh, enthused about being this whole host thing. But Daisuke aside, why is Haruna taking this seriously too? Well, because my PDA said that if, that my collar will detonate if I don't if I don't take my job seriously. <laughs> so in the end, the hosts are also nothing more than players. All right, we'll save all that for later. Now then, let's split up the teams. For the first team, we have Shuhei, Kodomi, and Hitomi in the Fujita family team. Oh, I see. Like a, like a father, mother, and daughter, huh? Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. Next, we have Tsukasa, Mitsu, and Haruna in the Kishida Academy team. I see. The same, because we're all students that we're we're on the same team because we're all students of the same academy, are we? We didn't really touch we didn't really touch upon it much in the main story. But yeah, the three of us did go to the same school. Let's work together and do our best. And for our third team, we have Kurokawa, Rei, and Yui in the Kur Kurokawa and his Merry Woman team. <laughs> I'm on the same team as you, Kurokawa. This fucking sucks. I got the dumbest people on my team. And what is the meaning of this team name? I demand that he change to Ray and her merry men. And now we have the fourth team. Majima, Mariko, and Yuna in the Majima and Mariko and the third wheel team. Hey, why are you treating me like the third wheel? I'm the protagonist here. Well, 
It has nothing to do with the progression of the game, so those sorts of questions will not be answered. <laughs> it pisses me off how you're acting like one of the administrators. <laughs> Let's do our best, Majima. Yes, I'll keep you safe, Mariko. Hey guys, find a room, will you? Alright then, we have our four teams. Now then, let the game begin. Haruna, you take on the questions. Now then, first question. Ta-da. In episode, episode B had a weapon that did not even appear by name in episode A or C. What was it? Huh? That's a real hard one to start off with. If you put your minds together, you should be able to find the answer. Do your best to work together. Wait a second. Which Shitomi are you supposed to be right now? The maid version is pretty reliable, but the uh, little kid version is, well. Rest assured, Master Shuhei. I am quite alright. Yes! With Hitomi in her adult form, we should be able to take care of this, Shu. Yeah. It's a, it's a real relief on my, it's a, sorry, it's a real load off my mind. And I shall carve a path for us. Oh, that was quick, Shuhei team. Go ahead and answer, he told me. The answer is a chainsaw. Wrong. Huh? Wrong Amundo. And what are you so surprised for? You use the chainsaw in every single episode. No, you have it wrong. You may all of you may have forgotten, but there are actually two chainsaws. I'm speaking of the second chainsaw. If I remember right, this only appeared in episode B. No, the second chainsaw appeared in episode A, not B. Too bad. Tell me, you kind of jumped the gun a little there. I wish you would have at least discussed it with us first. Uh, um, I don't know. Ah, uh, she retreated back to her child self. Oh no, we were too harsh on her. I'm so sorry, he told me. Hell yeah. Now one team's a real disadvantage. Well, you go off and sing your lullabies or whatever crap you do. <laughs> I shall take this opportunity to strike. Go ahead, Kurokawa team. The Mystical Sword Muramasa. Incorrect. What? Don't 
Don't give me that crap, you dumbass. Besides, even though it didn't appear in this, any of the episodes, its name was mentioned in episode C, wasn't it? And you had your Japanese sword out the whole time. Well, it matters not. Let's move on. You don't feel the least bit bad about it? Well, good luck and sing your lullabies, whatever crap you do. All of you are pissing me off here. I'm next. Whoa there, didn't think Majima would be the one to answer. I got a real bad feeling about this, but go ahead anyway. Hold on a sec. Brass Knuckles. This isn't the kind of place where you just say what, what kind of stuff you'd want. Cut it out already, you guys. If only I had brass knuckles, I could have done a better job. I don't give a shit. Doesn't change the fact that you're really stretching there. And besides, I'd like to see how well Brass Knuckles could do against weapons like a, like a scorpion and chainsaw anyway. It's alright, Majima. Even if no one else believes in you, I believe in you. <sighs> These two are all over each other whenever they get the chance, aren't they? It would seem you're all rather unskilled when it comes to quizzes. Then I shall take the stage. Go ahead, Kishida Academy team. The trick in this question is the word weapon. In the first place, a weapon is something you use during a battle, so it also includes protective gear. You can't reach the you can't reach the correct answer unless you realize this. In other words, the correct answer is bulletproof vest. Correct. Correct! That was amazing! You really are smart, Skasa! I knew we could count on you! Well then, it seems we have taken the lead. I'll be praying for better fortune for you in the future, Fujita. And let's go on. Question two. Dun -dun. All the characters could be considered protagonists of their own right in this game. Episode A, B, C, D を通じ、プレイヤー十四人の中で総セリフ数が一番少ないのは誰でしょう。But over the course of about the fourteen players over the course of episodes A, B, C, and D. Which of them had the least number of li lines in total? That's quite a question to get into. Uh, does this seem really a safe question? And I mean in all sorts of ways. You want to complain, you bring up the administrators. Alright then, let the answers begin. Huh? 
Why is no one answering? Hold on a sec. Because honestly, if we say anyone's name, um, I feel it's going to make things stormy, I feel. I'm scared of making. Uh, I'm scared of 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 rocking the boat, everyone. Get out of your comfort zones. You won't be able. This can't be a quiz without it. All right then. Here I go. Oh, that well, well. Captain Tank Top strikes. Strikes. Now, go ahead and, and blow this happy mood to smithereens. Now you think about it, there was a certain guy who was all alone for most of ep for all of episode A. I mean, the answer is you, Majima. What? The hell? Incorrect. Majima was in 10th place with 965 lines in total. He spoke quite a lot, surprisingly. <laughs> 10th place isn't too bad. You're in the top 10, Majima! Gee, why do you make a girl feel left out? Alright then, bring on the answers. By the way, if the time runs out, we'll treat us all of you having gotten it wrong. Uh, okay then. No! Don't, Mitsuru! Okay, give your answer. I figure it's probably me, but how about it? Ah, too bad. That was absolutely correct. I knew it. Well, to be perfectly honest, I also figured that me too was at the very bottom. That's terrible of you, Skasa. I also thought that you were at the. I also thought that Mitsuru was at the very bottom, but the way you said it was just mean. <laughs> Incidentally, here's a here's a piece of trivia for you to make to put you at ease, Hatsune. Huh? You were in a pretty bad state, too. You were in 13th place with 809 lines in total. Ever seen one? 
志田学園の中がいい感じにぎこちなくなってきたところで次いってみよう All right, now, now that the whole unity of Kishida Academy is falling apart, let's go on to the next one. Dewa, Dai Samoa! To, so no mae ni. Alright, third question. Oh, first things first, actually. Haruna chan! Monita, o n e g a i Haruna, you're up. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Now she's bringing out a TV or something. Where'd she get that from? Now watch the footage that's about to play. Begin! The footage shows an image of a man who was, um, who was watching the players from afar. The people who were watching from afar. Customers from all over the world, world were all betting on them. And, and the betting odds were displayed on the monitor. Oh. Hmm. The odd. Looks like the odds are much different from what was predicted before the game started. Hi. Koko de 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 kita odds no scene. Kono odds de ichi da ta no wa. All right now. Here is this was the betting odds scene. Who, was, who ranked first in the odds? Hitomi san! No. The first, the first one, the, the one who ranked number one in the odds was Hitomi. However. <laughs> Someone's off again, full of himself. Here's the question. Who was ranked number five? We have to remember is that these were the five players who were considered the most likely to survive the game, even for men killing others. Another tricky question, huh? This is gonna be rough. We got a full f it's giving us a full view of how malicious the customers were. I don't have a clue how to think about it. Hey, he told me. Is it, is it easy for repeaters to go to the top? Uh, I don't know. Shoo, tell me still. Please return to being a competent maid. Hmm. Let's think of this by process of elimination. If he told me was one, I was probably number two. Hey. We got some guy here who's talking some real shit. Punch him in the face, someone. Number three was probably Ray or someone. 
And four would probably be Haruna, the second most accomplished repeater there. <laughs> And so number five would be would probably be Yuna Todo, the other repeater. How's that? Why the hell was the why the hell this why the hell is the protagonist like me in that position? What, do I seem like the fifth most likely to kill people? Was Yuna even the protagonist to begin with? Well, she's not the main heroine. Now then, were you correct? Answer! Yes, you're right. Impossible! <laughs> Serves you right. It's impossible. My calculations can't be wrong. Oh <laughs> well, looks like your looks like those deduct those calculations you pride yourself in don't always go well, huh? You this kind of scary. Seems like she's going insane from being next to those two who are trapped in their own little world there. How are we supposed to notice it all anyway? Give us a hint, please, okay? Alright, fine. Here's your hint. first hint, then. Numbers 1 through 3 were all repeaters. So Todo, Hitomi, and Hosotani were at the top three, huh? Incidentally, Skasa, ever so full of himself, was number four. Well, well, looks like he did well after all. Aren't you amazing? Wait, hold on. The ones who are coming out of the top are the ones who are either intelligent or can act in without hesitation when the chips are down. So when you take out Kurokawa and Rei, who are not exactly the pictures of intelligence, and take out rather hesitant people like Tomi and Yui, could it be? Oh, I know! What? Call me? It's Shu! I did it! I did it, Shu! Yeah, you did it, Call me. Huh? What's wrong, Dan? No, it's nothing. Your daddy's a strong man. That's right, the correct answer was Shuhei. Incidentally, while he did score number 5 in the betting odds, in the character popularity poll, he scored number 12. I really need to know that. And, uh, yes, that is correct. That was how he scored in the popularity poll. Um, I can... Let me go over for a second. I'll, um... I have it. I actually have the popularity poll. So okay, I'll go over the popularity results if you're curious, but, um... 
The popularity poll total was, um... Number one was Skasa. Number two was Kurokawa. Number three was Yui. Number four was Yuna. Number five was Rei. Number six was Hitomi. Number seven was Haruna. Number eight was Daisuke. Number, um... Nine was Majima. Number 10 was Mitsuru. Number 11 was Katomi. Number 12 was Shuhei. Number 13 was Haruna. No, sorry. Um, Hatsune. And number 14 was, was uh, Mariko. Incidentally, you're five places lower than me. Like I said, I didn't need to know that. Well, let's get over that now, shall we? Let's move on to the next one. Alright then, number four. Da dun da da. Out of the 14 players, who are the two who appear in the least number of CGs? And suddenly, all variations of the same CG count only counts one. Now we're getting to quite one hell of a question. What's all this talk about CGs and variations? Mistress Kozumi, CGs are um, special illustrations that appear from time to time during the game. Oh! She went back to her old self. She really go back that easily? My sincerest apologies. I was used to a rather uncertain state up until now, but now I am back in full form. Now then. Variations refer to... Hey, hold on a second. Oh, no, sorry, I got it wrong. Every variation counts as its own CG in this context. Now then, variations refer to... Um... Slight changes in the CG. For example... This is, an ev this is a CG. And this is a variation of the CG. Why did you use my scene? I see, I don't really get it, but at least I get, I get the general picture. Well, it's easy to assume that those who appear in these CGs, sorry, that the that the characters who had the most spotlight appeared in a lot of CGs, right? Uh, well, yeah, basically. Oh, in that case. The one who appeared in the least was the was the thin weakling, and the second one was the was the carp asshole. Are you referring to Mitsuru and Daisuke? Yes, exactly. Man, that's harsh. Say that again after you repent of your own actions.
Take that into account. Now then, is that correct? No, that can't be! What the hell? Now we're in the negative! At this rate, we're all gonna blow up! Says <laughs> the guy who failed when he was so sure of himself on the second question. <laughs> Shut up. And I'll get it back for you. <laughs> yes, Kurokawa? Well, the least was Mitsuru. So the second least would be Majima. How do you like them, apples? You just hate me, don't you? When the hell may when the hell makes you think I'd ever like you, you son of a bitch? Don't get fall yourself just because we we fought things out in episode B. Now then, are you correct? Ah, too bad. You failed to get your to get your points back. Oh well, that's that. Don't give me that. What do you try? What do you intend to do now? And more importantly, were you even trying to be right? Ah, shut the fuck up. Besides, there's no way in hell I can get I can get uh oh, Move for this kind of bullshit. The Makioka swordsmanship style knows no retreat no matter what situation. Didn't I teach you that? No, no you didn't. Go rewatch the whole main story again, you son of a bitch. That teamwork is the absolute worst. And I'll take the chance and strike. Alright then, Mr. High off his own fumes, Skasa, give us your answer. Well, it's, it's certain that the one who appeared the least is, is, is Shirosaki. Mitsuru's character has been reduced to a crybaby. Those who did not fight on the front lines should be in relatively few CGs. However, those who were involved with some with those frontline characters, such as Fukishi and Yui, are except should be considered exceptions. Which means number two is Ueno. How is that? Wait, me? Why? Uh, too bad. Not even close. That's so mean, Skasa. Besides, aren't you being biased by putting Mitsuru as number one each time? So, so He's right, she's right! Actually, had quite a lot of time to shine, you know? Hmm, you're all quite wrong, so I'll give you a hint. Number one is... Mitsuru! No, 
I don't even have anything to back you up with. だ、大丈夫だよ。初音ちゃん。僕もう少し頑張れるからね。あっちは失脚めっちゃかね。1位は水ずるで確定したし、2位について考えましょうか。アクションシーンが少ない人ほどイベントCGに出づらいのは確かっぽいわねそして女の子は登場するだけでイベントCGになる可能性があるわ綺麗どころということでね Oh wait, sorry. Um, okay, can you hear me now? Sorry about that. All right, I'll try again. They're in the total mess over there. Since we know Mitsuru is number one, let's think about number two. It does sound about right that those who didn't participate in many action scenes wouldn't appear in all that wouldn't have a chance to appear in all many CGs. And just by being a girl, you have a chance. You have a higher chance of being a CG just by showing up. Gives us a chance to be look pretty and all that. Which means the most suspicious ones are the men, and ones who didn't participate in many action scenes at that. Oh, I know it. Too slow. Oh, Ray was slightly faster. Go ahead and answer. I just got a huge hint from the from the Yuna team. A man who didn't who also didn't appear in many didn't see much action. In other words. The first number one is Mitsuru. And number two is Skasa. How about that? I'm in the bottom two of the CG appearances? <laughs> There's no way that could be. Bingo! Congratulations! What? Huh? You're you're just like me then, Skasa? はい。正解はなんとびっくり。Correct. Surprisingly enough, Skasa was the right answer. Shockingly, he didn't appear in all that many CGs. Skasa は私にお説教してるシーンとかが多いのであって、実は活躍していないのです。He also had a lot of scenes where he was lecturing me. Didn't actually see all that much combat. You hate me, don't you? Perish the thought. I'm simply complimenting you. Exactly what part of that at all was praise? Tsukasa's stock is going down fast! But we're, but we're Tsukasa's allies. We have the most points, so let's do our best, Tsukasa. 
、sure. にしても、マジマの予想は、だいたい当たってたのね。But still, your prediction was pretty on point, s t u s Um, マジマ。I'm sorry, my hand was too slow. Don't worry about Mariko. We'll make up for in the next round. Alright then, let's go on to the next question. Alright, question five. No sound effect this time, huh? She probably ran out of ideas. I didn't ask you. Um, it rained three times during the course of the whole story. But what day did it start raining? What time did it start raining each time? Please answer in the form of time measurements. Incidentally, it rained at the same days and the same times in all the episodes. You should be able to, you should be able to figure out by thinking about it. Also, just prevent. Also, just prevent any confusion. Even if you get, even if you're wrong, I'll tell you how many of them you were, how many of them you got correct. Hmm, this is tricky. Kurokawa, Ray, do you guys know? Like hell, I remember that shit. Besides, I fucking hate rain. Oh. Now that I think about it, when I first met Ray in episode B, I'm pretty sure it was raining. Was that day three? Day four? No, it was the sixth day. Like hell it was! That would be just one day before the game ended. Then the fifth day? Don't ask me! If you don't know, then just keep your mouth shut, shrimp! Wait, hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, it was raining when I got shot by Kodomi in episode A. In episode B, it was when I got chased away by Rei and then knocked out by Majima. In episode C, it was when I just got tied up in that abandoned village. Fuck! Now that I think about it, nothing but bad shit happened to me whenever it rained during the game. This is why I hate rain, goddammit! <laughs> Calm down, Kurokawa. I see. After seeing that, it's um, it seems it would be best for us to try it. Um, it seems it would be best for us to try to remember by our impressions of each episode. But I don't really. But, but rain, huh? 
I don't really have that many good memories of it. Did something happen? Well, you know, back in episode B, it was raining when I had tetanus, too. Oh, right, that did happen now that I think about it. If I remember right, that was on the third day. But think about it carefully from there. Wait, hold on! What's wrong? Now that I think about it, we're already at ten we're already at zero points. So if another team gets it right, our collars are gonna blow. You're right. Curses. We don't have time to be we don't have time to take this slow. And we gotta answer quick. Now then, Yuna's team has realized what, what, what a shithole they're in. Will they manage to make a turnaround? Um, um, 1 p.m. on day 3, the... Uh, 4 p.m. on day 4, and 8 p.m. on day 8. Wrong! Only one of those was, um, correct. Majima, please! You can count on me. I know you're- I know you're panicking, but you don't have to punch the button. If I remember right, it, it rained twice on the third day. So it's 1 p.m. on the third day? 3 um... 4 p.m. on the third day? And 8 p.m. on the seventh day. Close! Two of them were correct. This is bad. Got no other way out. Yuna's our only hope. Don't worry, guys. I'll carve a path for you. Just leave this to me. If you got two of them right, then the problem is probably the third the third time it rained. It's luckily the date that's wrong. So Now go ahead, Yuna team, it's your last chance. One p.m. on the third day, four p.m. on the third day, and eight p.m. on the eighth day. How's that? No way! Why? Why? You got the, you got the time of the second, of the second rain wrong. You'd let their sacrifice go to waste. And so now that Yuna's team no longer has any chance of survival, their cause will detonate. Goodbye. This can't be! Why do I have to go through this shit when I'm the protagonist? Wait, you and the others vanished? Where'd they go? 
その勢いで山の向こうまで吹っ飛んでいく仕組みになってるらしいわ。Oh, the cars are set up so when they detonate, they send you flying all the way over to the mountain, over the mountain, over the mountains. 爆発ってそういうものなの Is that even physically possible? まあまあ、細けいことはいいんだよ。Now, now, don't sweat the details. さーてさて、もう大体答えは分かったんじゃないかこっからはほぼ早押しクイズだぜ。Now then, you all more or less figure out the answer, right? At this point, basically comes who can draw first. The n i s h a l l strike. Hi, Hitomi. Hotai, I'll do so. All right, he told me. Give your answer. One PM on the third day, six PM on the third day, and eight PM on the seventh day. How was that? Okay, die, say, Kai. Correct. Master Shuhei. Mistress Kotomi, I did it! Thanks, Hitomi. We're now one step close. Closer. Such a good girl. Mistress Kotomi? My. Your praise is wasted on me. Hey, look, if you want to have a Yuri relationship, that's fine, but let's move on to the next question already. Alright then, question six. In episodes A, B, and C. How many of the survivors、um, fulfilled their clear conditions? Also, this is not, this is not people who, who cleared the game, but the number of people who fulfilled their clear condition. No, sorry, I should have I misread the last question. Sorry, number six is in episodes A, B, and C. How many players fulfilled their clear conditions while they were still alive? So it's not for a number of players who cleared the game, but those who fulfilled their clear conditions. Yosuruni, Hompen Tuni, Korea Joken, got Tasse Salemasta, the PDA got Nankai announced Takate Hanastana. In other words, how many times in the story was the whole You have fulfilled your clear condition, PDA announcement given. Hmm. I don't think we can really answer this one. None of us managed to make it to the end, after all. You and I survived. Oh, no, it's. Um. Me and Skasa survived all the way to the end of episode D, but that's for the other ones. We tried quite hard, yet for some reason it was our fate never to make it to the end. So let's just, let's just keep silent and watch on this one. So they're pulling out, huh? I'm happy about that. That means we got an answer. Our points are already down to zero, after all, in the blink of an eye. But don't we have the advantage this time? You and Kurokawa survived at episode B, and I survived to the end of episode C. How the hell is that an advantage? 
We were all fucking killed in the episode A, weren't we? So on the other hand, the problem is episode A. Let's start with episode B and um, C to see how many and think about how many times people clear the conditions. Um, in episode B, it was Kurokawa, Majima, Rei, me, and Mariko. So that's five, right? And episode C, it was Daisuke, Mitsuru, Tsukasa, Majima, Yui, Mariko, Shuhei, Kodomi, and me for nine times. If I remember right, right before I died in episode A, there were still eight people left. And about half of them died within two days, so maybe four? God, then I'll answer. Oh, we finally got someone who's might have cracked the code. I was feeling lonely here when you were all talking amongst yourself. Um, it's four plus five plus nine. So the answer is 18. Then I'll go next. Krokawa said 4 survived in episode A, but I don't think that many people cleared their conditions. So then that would be 15. How's that? Hold the fuck on now. Don't go putting down other people's um predictions so confidently like that. Wait, hold on a sec. If we count backwards from those who survived, this this question's easy as shit, ain't it? The ones who seemed most likely to survive in A was that monster ever made and that cr and that crossbow chick, I guess. Both of them pushed me to the wall. <laughs> I fucking saw that. Your face has changed. Give your answer. It's 16. How do you like that, you little shits? You gotta be fucking kidding me! Ah, uh, too bad. So much like Yuna's team, your team can now no longer win the game. Well, I suppose there's nothing that can be done about it. But that said, farewell. Damn you, administrators!
This isn't how I want to go out! I cannot accept this! I demand a rematch! <sighs> Seeing the explosion just makes me want to take a leak, you know? What the hell are you even on about? Oh, I got it! Now then... The main viewpoint character finally acts. Go on, give your answer. Kurokawa was close. Um, the numbers for episode A and B were correct. But in episode C, Ray actually fulfilled her clear conditions twice. So that means 16 was incorrect. So the answer is 17. How's that? What a great deduction! You're so smart it pisses me off! Hey, I can't help it. This is a quiz, you know. But you're amazing, bi big brother. That's correct. Alright! Magnificent, Master Shuhei. You're so cool, Shu! Yeah, yeah, get a room, you three. Alright then, on the set on question seven. Alright then, now the two teams are out, we're down to the Galaxy Brain teams. The final battle is nigh. Now then, which of them will survive? Or to put it another way, which of them will blow up? I don't want to miss this. Just go get on with it already. No need to put your own sick taste into it. Okay, okay. So let's go. All right then. Let's bring on number seven. You seem to be quite enjoying yourself, Daisuke Ito. Huh? But did you forget? You're nothing more than a player yourself as well. Wait, that was an, a different voice came. Look, Shu. The TV turned on on its own. Huh? That face, it can't be. Long time no see, players. It is I, the administrator man. Hey, old man, what's a big deal cutting in like that? It is as I said. You, the hosts, are also players. Are nothing more than players. The game will now move into its second stage. Daisuke Ito and Haruna Hosotani will both form teams and take on the quiz. Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? 
異議を唱えた場合例によって首輪がコメディっぽく爆発する。No objections will be allowed. Should you even try, just like then your callers will also dende in a comedic fashion, just like those other two teams. If you, don't lose, if you don't want to lose your time in the limelight, then just shut up and take the quiz. <laughs> Anything really does go when it comes to these administrators, huh? Okay, okay, I'll play along. I just gotta play, right? Well, even if Haruna and I form a team, there'll only be two of us, right? What do we do about the last person? No, there are still more players. Four more, to be exact. Come forth! Past team! Um, should we really be here? Man, what a pain in the ass. Why do they gotta drag us back out here again? Sophia feels the same too. Come on, don't whine. Let's all enjoy this. We finally got our time in the limelight now. What's going on here? There's a ton of people I've never seen before. Allow me to introduce you. These are the players who participated in the game one year ago. Oh, it's nice to meet you all. I'm Akira Makioka. Huh? Makioka? Wait, does that make you race? Ah, uh, yes. I'm Rei Makioka's brother. It's a pleasure to meet you. I see, so you're Yuna's. Rei's brother, you seem quite sharp. You may prove to be quite the surprising challenge. Incidentally, we ain't got nothing to do with you guys. Just ignore us and think of us as air or something. Ignore us. Man, you really, you really don't have any motivation at all, do you, old man? Well, Sophia, that's not quite how you say it. But how can people who played in the game a year ago be here? I believe we already explained this at the start. But this story is all for the laws. Nothing is impossible when it comes to comedy and jokes. Nothing's impossible? I mean, I knew the administrators could do anything, but... I don't see a problem with it. All we have to do is win, after all. And even if Ray's brother is playing, I won't be showing any mercy. By the way, have you explained the rules to Akira and the others? Of course. But now that we're in the second stage, the rules have been slightly changed. What? Teams of three people haven't changed. But there's been a big change when it comes to the points. Hold on a sec.
the first team to answer two questions correctly will be declared the winner. In other words, this is purely a speed round contest. Now push aside the other players and grasp your victory. He said there was a big change, but apart from the points, nothing's really changed, huh? You're right. I kind of, I kind of feel like an idiot for getting surprised. Silence. You have no other questions, and allow me to rearrange the, and allow me to put together the new teams. First, our first new team of Akira, Akira Makioka, Ego Mishima, and Sofia Trevi Manzanero as the past episode team. And next, for our second team, we have Daisuke Ito, Kishin Sakimura, and Haruna Hosotani as the bad guys team. Hey, what's with this bad guy thing? I'm Rebellion's secret mascot, you know? What's with this guy? I don't know why, but I feel like I really mesh with him. Why do I have to get paired with these two? Because the three of you are standard chaos creating players. Get along. Now then, everyone, sorry to keep you waiting. The second stage you have all been waiting for is about to begin. Waiting, we're not looking forward to it either. It's the finale with a brand new lineup. Which team will survive by the end? Now then, here we go. Question 7. Da -da -da. Hey, he stole my joke. The game field is divided up into countless areas. But what areas is, are you currently in right now? Huh? Why the nails on them? Huh? I don't remember that shit. Question was fast. No could catch all of it. Then I'll do it. Yes, Akira Makioka, give your answer. Area 5. Huh? I was wrong? Incidentally, why did you think it was Area 5? Because it's in the middle. This is like the central plaza, basically, right? Are you an idiot? Are you an idiot? Are you an idiot? You don't have to all gang up on me. So we got it wrong, huh? 
Maybe he's... Maybe he's just as dull as his sister after all. That's too harsh, Shu. It's the kind of thing where blood is thicker than water applies. Kodomi, that's not much... That's not really giving him much help, much of a compliment to him either. But this, but this requires much more speed than the other ones up until now. Then here I go! Yes, Kodomi Fukishi. Area 13. Correct! Yes, I did it! I'm surprised you remember that. Truly impressive, Mistress Kodomi. Hey, it's no fun if you just answer the question normally. We've already come this far, so I need to plan, so I need to plan the effort too. Correct answer was area 13. There are thir there are 25 areas in total. And this field is right in the middle, so it's area 13. It's a totally fair question. I must say, though, I'm surprised someone actually got this one wrong. This is a sign of how how answering first isn't always the best. Let's keep bringing it on. Now here's question eight. The Rebellion's main story, people who were connected with each other were brought together. Of the, of the 14 players, there was one who didn't go to the same school as another person. Who was that? I see. Now we're getting some more obscure stuff, huh? What do we do? We know we're all from the same school, but we don't know about the others. Calm down, Hatsune. If you remember everyone's school uniforms, we should be able to answer this. Hmm. Looks like it won't be any use in this of this for this question. I don't know what happened a year later. Do you guys know? Alrighty, leave this to me. Yes, Daisuke Ito. It's Kurokawa. He was the only one not wearing a uniform. And besides, He's a total dumbass, so he probably came from dumbass school. How's that for a prediction? Huh? Kurokawa went to Joshin Academy. The reason he wasn't wearing a school uniform was because he had just gone out because he was grabbed after he'd gone out of the bath. I was on the way to buy a drink. This information was all in the main story, too. Looks like you didn't study enough. Oh, was that right? Ah, I forgot. 
大体何よバカだ学園って私も同じ学校なのよ Don't give me that. Besides, what are you calling? Who? Where do you think you're calling Dumbass Academy? It's the same school I go to, you know. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Don't kick me in the shin. That's right, that's right. What the hell are you doing? Don't take advantage of this to kick me in the shin, too. Now then, that's falling out, this falling out, this falling out is heat up and things are getting exciting. Who will be the first one to answer? I know. That's right, the answer's. Well, well. He almost answered the exact same time, but Tsukasa Mitsubayashi was just slightly faster. Your answer, Tsukasa Mitsubayashi. Don't get it, Tsukasa! The answer is Ray. Ray and Kurokawa are the only ones who, um, didn't wear any other players' uniforms. And if Kurokawa was wrong, then it must be Ray by process elimination. Is that your final answer? Don't bring up that old meme. Just answer it already. You're correct, of course. Congratulations. Amazing, Tsukasa! On a second. We shall not lose. If we... Now that we've been reduced to gag characters, we have nothing but tragedy waiting for us if we lose the game. If we... Yeah, you're right. But Hatsune wasn't trying to be a gag character. By the way, um, Akira, um, from what I can see of your school uniform, you went to the same school as your sister, right? How is that school's deviation value? Uh, T-score, basically. It's the same school as my sister went to, so I think you can figure that out for yourself. Right. Sorry about that. Akira, this bad. We will lose at this rate. Don't ask me. Besides, questions based on a year later is unfair anyway. You should have been able to figure out the area answer. Uh, 
ことだな。まあ、次は頑張れや。So this is what they mean by you not being able to come for a comeback, eh? Well, let's, let's give our best for the next one. Let's give our best. Huh? Since when have I been the only one trying here? But you make a fair point. It wouldn't be fun if it's just all. if it's. if, if these questions are all one sided against you. So let's give a fair question this time. Now then, question nine. At what times did the sun rise and set on the first day of the game? Um, five minutes off. Five minute, five minute deviation is allowed. I see. This is indeed a fair question. How the hell are we supposed to get an answer? How the hell are we supposed to know an answer like this? What do we look like, wiremen? No. Um. The 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 time the sunrise and the sunset was listed in the was listed in the game's text. Furthermore, Akira Makioka and the others participated in the game on the exact same day one year earlier, so you should be able to answer it. Think about it. Hmm. How the hell were we supposed to know that the sunrise and sunset would ever be or ever come by something important? Oh well, let's just give up. You're too quick to give up, Ego. You right. If I was get right, then we lose. Yeah, let's just go over our gutter, whatever. Hmm, this is bad. I got no clue. Hold on a sec. All right, sorry. Don't give me that. You know, for a guy who came in with so much fanfare, you're proving to be pretty useless. Let's stop any pointless fights. For now, let's try to remember what we were doing when the sun rose and set each day. Seriously? But when the sun rising, I was still asleep. And when the sun was setting, I was... I think all I was doing was getting food. It was basically the same for me as well. Nothing left an impression on me. You guys are so useless. Then what about you, Haruna? Do you remember? Huh? Um, well, I was hiding in the forest and lurking there. And... 
Do you remember the times? Uh, no, I don't. I was too tense. You're just like us, then, aren't you? You're on the same level as us. Help me, big brother. Tsukasa's team has gone one right. We're the same, but we're in a but we're in a tricky situation here. If they answer first, then it's game over for us. Let's let's think about it quick. If I remember right, I was already awake when the sun was rising. I was getting my chainsaw around the time that the sun set, so... And he's not listening. Even though his little, little sister's in so much trouble. Just pipe down, let's let's just have a little chit chat. I want out. Hmm. Judging by the season, the sunrise would generally be from somewhere between four to five, and the and the sunset would be about somewhere between six p.m. and seven p.m. Yeah. No, the sunrise is at 4.30. How do you know? Because I woke up at the same time as the sunrise on that day. Um, because I woke up at the exact same time the sun rose that day. I checked the time that back then, so I'm sure of it. That's our Skasa, a true savior. Now then, as for the sunset. The sun should have set basically past 6 p.m., but I get the impression that it's set earlier than that. Oh, now that I think about it, there were tall mountains on the west side of the field, and because of that, that should have meant that the sun set earlier. Correct. Now then. Considering the height of the mountains, let us calculate what the time of the sunset. Unless we get it right here. Alright, I'll put I'll put my faith in my in my mountain intuition. Sunrise is at 6 a.m. Sunset was at was at 5.55 p.m. Too bad! You weren't even a little close. You kidding me? Well... That's what happens. Got it! I'll try my best to think about it! Good luck, you two! Oh, 
But let's do our best, you two, as Mm, I give up. I'll just go with my guts. Yeah. Sunset, sunrise is at 4 a.m. and sunset is at 4 p.m. Sophia, answer next. 4.30. 4.30. I'm the last one. Sunrise is at 5 a.m. Sunset is at 5 p.m. One of you was close, but unfortunately, you were all wrong. Ah, uh, we were close. Well, nothing we can do about it. All right, then let's just pr let's just take a nap and pray that the others get it all wrong. Don't get down, Akira. You're right. If only something memorable happened then, it would have been a good hint. Huh? Something memorable? What is it, Master Shuhei? Now that I think about it, I obtained my SOCOM right after sunset on the first day. You mean that big gun, right? Do you remember what time it was? Yes. Since I used a memory chip back then, I looked at my PDA to check the position of the... of the, um, supplies. That's right, I remember now. The time of sunset was... Oh no, this is bad! Looks like they're, they're gonna answer! Tsukasa, do you not remember? Oh, I remember now. Gotta hit the button! Too late, Tsukasa! It seems you've arrived at your answer. Then give it. Sunrise was at 4.30, and sunset was at 4.45. Hmm. Please. Correct! Amazing! That was comp- That was all perfect! No mistakes at all! Yes! Yes! You did it! You did it, Shu! You're amazing! Congratulations, Master Shuhei, Mistress Kodami! Yeah, thanks you guys. I won because of you. I can't believe I lost to him twice. Thank you for your participation. The winners are Shuhei Fujita, Kotomi Fukishi, and he and Hitomi um, Kasuya. Let's give a big round of applause for these players for their gallant battle to the death. 
盛大な爆発をというわけでポチッとな And as for the losers, you get a big explosion. And now, with that said, just gotta press this button here. How could this happen to me? I scored top in the character popularity poll. No! Big Brother! This is why I hate quizzes! Huh? But we did nothing. In the end. Oh, thank God, it's over. Sis! What a tragedy. We sincerely pray that um this experience has proved enriching for all you players' lives. Like hell we did. Now then, congratulations on winning. If you go west, you'll find a you'll find a boat at the harbor, by the beach, by the shore. You can escape with that. Understood. Then let us go. Um, Master. Sh Master Shuhei, Mistress Kodomi. Okay. But what about the others? Rest assured, Kodomi Fukishi. Huh? The other play the players who dropped out have all gathered around the boat. They were just blown away by the explosion. None of them should have been hurt. What? I can't believe that foresha that stupid foreshadowing actually served a purpose. Well, that's how it is. Now go. Let's go, Shu. Everyone's waiting. I shall guard you along the way. Oh. Right. Bye to you too. Oh. Yeah. Be well. And so our final game ended. Though that said, in the end, I have no idea what the hell that game was about in the first place anyway. It was all complete nonsense and, ir and completely, um, illogical. Maybe it was just some sort of daydream. If I think about it, you could call this a happy ending of sorts. Because in the games we experienced, in the end, not all of us were able to survive. I should be happy that we all survived and made it out of here.
So I should be grateful to this, um... To this ironic, yet, um, considerate dream. With that thought racing in my mind, I made my way to the ship. 